The sound system of Norwegian resembles that of Swedish. There is considerable variation among the dialects, and all pronunciations are considered by official policy to be equally correct. There is no official spoken standard, although it can be said that Bakmal has an unofficial spoken standard, called Urban East Norwegian or Standard East Norwegian, Norwegian Standard Ostnorsk, loosely based on the speech of the literate classes of the Oslo area. This variant is the most common one taught to foreign students. Despite there being no official standard variety of Norwegian, urban East Norwegian has traditionally been used in public venues such as theatre and TV. Although today local dialects are used extensively in spoken and visual media, the background for this lack of agreement is that after the dissolution of Denmark Norway in 1814, the upper classes would speak in what was perceived as the Danish language, which with the rise of Norwegian Romantic nationalism gradually fell out of favour. In addition, Bergen, not Oslo, was the larger and more influential city in Norway until the 19th century. See the article on the Norwegian language conflict for further information. Unless noted otherwise, this article describes the phonology of urban East Norwegian. Consonants <inaudible> 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 N, T, D, are laminal N, T, D, either alveolar N, T, D, or denti-alveolar N, T, D, P, T, K, are aspirated fully voiceless P, T, K, whereas, B, D, are unaspirated, either fully voiceless P, T, K, or partially voiced B, D. After, S, within the same syllable, only unaspirated voiceless stops occur. S is dentalized laminal alveolar S or uncommonly non-retracted apical alveolar S is pronounced with protruded lips. The degree of protrusion depends on the rounding of the following vowel. H is a usually voiceless fricative. The friction is normally glottal H, but sometimes it is dorsal palatal C when near front vowels, velar X near back vowels. It can be voiced tilde tilde between two voiced sounds. L J are partially voiced or fully voiceless f, l, c, when they occur after p, t, k, f, but not when s proceeds within the same syllable. The flap is also partially voiced or fully voiceless when it occurs postvocalically before p, k, f. The approximants j may be realized as fricatives v. Skeptical smiley face is sometimes a fricative, especially before a pause and an emphatic pronunciation. There is not an agreement about the frequency of occurrence of the fricative allophone of j. Christofferson 2000 states that j is sometimes a fricative. Vanvik 1979 states that the fricative variant of j occurs often, especially before and after close vowels and in energetic pronunciation. L is in process of changing from laminal denti alveolar l to apical alveolar l, which leads to neutralization with the retroflex allophone. Laminal realization is still possible before vowels, after front and close vowels and after consonants that are not coronal, and is obligatory after n, t, d. A velarized laminal occurs after mid-back vowels, o, open-back vowels, and sometimes also after the close-back vowels, u. However, Endresen 1990 states that at least in Oslo, the laminal variant is not velarized, and the difference is only between an apical and a laminal realization is an voiced apical alveolar flap. It is occasionally trilled r, e.g. in emphatic speech. Retroflex allophones have been variously described as apical alveolar n, t, d, and apical postalveolar n, t, d alternates with in many words, but there is a small number of words in which only occurs. k are velar, whereas j is palatal. C may be palatal C, but is often alveolopalatal instead. It is unstable in many dialects, and younger speakers in Bergen, Stavanger, and Oslo merge C with into glottal stop may be inserted before word initial vowels. In very emphatic speech, it can also be inserted word medially in stressed syllables beginning with a vowel. Most of the retroflex and postalveolar consonants are mutations of plus any other alveolar dental consonant R N N greater than R T T greater than R L L greater than R S S greater than etc. D across word boundaries sandy in loanwords and in a group of primarily literary words may be pronounced D E G Verden Aden but it may also be pronounced in some dialects. 
Most of the dialects in eastern, central and northern Norway use the retroflex consonants. Most southern and western dialects do not have these retroflex sounds, because in these areas a guttural realization of the r phoneme is commonplace, and seems to be expanding. Depending on phonetic context voiceless chi or voiced uvular fricatives are used, see map at right. Other possible pronunciations include a uvular approximant or, more rarely, a uvular trill. There is, however, a small number of dialects that use both the uvular r and the retroflex allophones. The retroflex flap, colloquially known to Norwegians as juk l, thick l, is a central Scandinavian innovation that exists in eastern Norwegian, including Trondersk, the southmost northern dialects, and the most eastern western Norwegian dialects. It is supposedly non-existent in most western and northern dialects. Today there is doubtlessly distinctive opposition between and l in the dialects that do have e.g. gard farm and gal l crazy in many eastern Norwegian dialects. Although traditionally an Eastern Norwegian dialect phenomenon, it was considered vulgar, and for a long time it was avoided. Nowadays it is considered standard in the Eastern and Central Norwegian dialects, but is still clearly avoided in high-prestige sociolects or standardized speech. This avoidance calls into question the status of as a phoneme in certain sociolects. According to Nina Granum, Juk L in Trondersk is actually a postalveolar lateral flap. Vowels Unless preceding another vowel within the same word, all unstressed vowels are short. In unstressed syllables, tends to reduce to a simple schwa. The phonemic status of a and ash in urban East Norwegian is unclear since these pattern as allophones of, respectively, and, e, before the flaps, and, However, there also are words in which e is realized as e despite the following flap, such as per, pay, peter, a also occurs in the diphthongs a and a. Urban East Norwegian also features a few non phonemic diphthongs, which are o, a, a, o, a, can be analyzed as sequences of o and j, which is allophonically labialized to after rounded vowels. a can be analyzed as a sequence of and with, which corresponds to the central not back. The second element of with is often realized as labiodental. Some speakers have an additional diphthong in their inventory which, like and, is restricted to loanwords. For such speakers, a is best analyzed as a plus j, whereas j is the phonemic representation of the marginal. Another very rare diphthong is phonemically j, which appears only in the word way haste. The following sections describe each monophthong in detail. Topic. Symbols The vowels, i, y, e, a, ash, as well as the allophone of are invariably transcribed with i, y, e, a, ash and u, o stroke, are most often transcribed with u, o stroke, but u, may be transcribed with an obsolete by older sources. In addition, Christofferson 2000 uses both o stroke and for o stroke. This article transcribes those vowels with u, o stroke. O is most often transcribed with, yet this article uses o, following Christofferson 2000. The open back are most often transcribed with, but Vanvik 1979 transcribes them with a, a. This article uses the former set. The short close vowels are transcribed with either or i, y, u. The short is occasionally transcribed with or a non-IPA symbol instead, whereas is transcribed with an obsolete symbol in some older sources. This article uses the short mid-front vowels o are transcribed with either or e o stroke. This article uses topic phonetic realization i e a ash are unrounded, whereas y u o o stroke o are rounded. The close y have been variously described as protruded, y, and compressed, as well as compressed, y, and protruded. The backness of has also been variously described as central and near front. Therefore, y may be differentiated from by backness and the type of rounding or even only by the type of rounding. The close back, u, are compressed, u. The mid, o, o stroke, o, are protruded, o stroke, o. The height and backness of Norwegian vowels is as follows 
have been variously described as near close and close i, y, u. In addition, and are more peripheral than the canonical values of IPA, tilde I and tilde U, respectively, I, Y, U, are phonetically close I, Y, U is mid-front. E, O stroke, are close mid E, O stroke. E, is front, yet, O stroke, has been variously described as front O stroke and central, O, has been variously described as open mid-front O and mid-central has been variously described as near open back and close mid back o o has been variously described as mid back o and close mid back o a ash have been variously described as near open front a ash and open central a a diaresis or open back e o stroke are frequently realized as centering diphthongs e o I, Y, U, O, can also be realized as I, E, U, O, yet, ash, are always monophthongal. However, according to Kvift and Gud Huskin 2005, the diphthongal variants of E, O stroke, O, are opening E, U, O, not centering. Accent <inaudible> 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 Norwegian is a pitch accent language with two distinct pitch patterns. They are used to differentiate polysyllabic words with otherwise identical pronunciation. Although difference in spelling occasionally allows the words to be distinguished in the written language such as bonner, bonder, in most cases the minimal pairs are written alike. For example, in most Norwegian dialects, the word utale pronounce is pronounced using tone 1 TTL, while utale pronunciation uses tone 2 squared TTL. There are significant variations in the realization of the pitch accent between dialects. In most of eastern Norway, including the capital Oslo, the so-called low-pitch dialects are spoken. In these dialects, accent 1 uses a low flat pitch in the first syllable, while accent 2 uses a high, sharply falling pitch in the first syllable and a low pitch in the beginning of the second syllable. In both accents, these pitch movements are followed by a rise of intonational nature phrase accent, the size and presence of which signals emphasis, focus and which corresponds in function to the normal accent in languages that lack lexical tone, such as English. That rise culminates in the final syllable of an accentual phrase, while the fall to utterance final low pitch that is so common in most languages is either very small or absent. On the other hand, in most of western and northern Norway the so-called high-pitch dialects accent 1 is falling, while accent 2 is rising in the first syllable and falling in the second syllable or somewhere around the syllable boundary. The two tones can be transcribed on the first vowel as, for accent 1 and, for accent 2, the modern reading of the IPA low and falling corresponds to eastern Norway, whereas an older tradition of using diacritics to represent the shape of the pitch trace falling and rising falling corresponds to western Norway. Accent 1 generally occurs in words that were monosyllabic in Old Norse, and accent 2 in words that were polysyllabic. <laughs> Tonal accents and morphology In many dialects, the accents take on a significant role in marking grammatical categories. Thus, the ending t1 N implies determinate form of a masculine monosyllabic noun baten, boat, bilan, car, whereas t2 N denotes either determinate form of a masculine bisyllabic noun or an adjectivized noun, verb modin, mature. Similarly, the ending t1 a denotes feminine singular determinate monosyllabic nouns boka, book, rota, root, or neuter plural determinate nouns husa, houses, lisa, lights, whereas the ending t2 a denotes the preterite of weak verbs rota made a mess, husa housed, feminine singular determinate bisyllabic nouns bada bucket, ruta square. In Eastern Norwegian the tone difference may also be applied to groups of words, with different meaning as a result. Gro igjen for example, means grow anew when pronounced with tone 1 u grave jn, but grow over when pronounced with tone 2 u circumflex jn. In other parts of Norway, this difference is achieved instead by the shift of stress gro igjen u jane versus gro igjen u jane. Topic: In compound words. In a compound word, the pitch accent is lost on one of the elements of the compound, the one with weaker or secondary stress, but the erstwhile tonic syllable retains the full length, long vowel or geminate consonant of a stressed syllable.
Topic: <laughs> Monosyllabic tonal accents. In some dialects of Norwegian, mainly those from Nordmore and Trondelag to Lofoten, there may also be tonal opposition in monosyllables, as in bi circumflex l car versus bi grave l axe. In a few dialects, mainly in and near Nordmore, the monosyllabic tonal opposition is also represented in final syllables with secondary stress, as well as double tone designated to single syllables of primary stress in polysyllabic words. In practice, this means that one gets minimal pairs like hn the rooster versus hn get him inside br in the well versus br her well l ash nsm sheriff versus l ash nsm the sheriff. Amongst the various views on how to interpret this situation, the most promising one may be that the words displaying these complex tones have an extra mora. This mora may have little or no effect on duration and dynamic stress, but is represented as a tonal dip. Other dialects with tonal opposition in monosyllabic words have done away with vowel length opposition. Thus, the words v dare versus v cradle have merged into v in the dialect of Opdal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Loss of tonal accents. Some forms of Norwegian have lost the tonal accent opposition. This includes mainly parts of the area around but not including Bergen, the Bronøysund area, to some extent, the dialect of Bodo, and, also to various degrees, many dialects between Tromsø and the Russian border. Faroese and Icelandic, which have their main historical origin in Old Norse, also show no tonal opposition. It is, however, not clear whether these languages lost the tonal accent or whether the tonal accent was not yet there when these languages started their separate development. Standard Danish, rigsdansk, replaces tonal accents with the stad, whilst some southern, insular dialects of Danish preserve the tonal accent to different degrees. The Finland-Swedish dialects also lack a tonal accent, as no such phenomenon exists in Finnish. <laughs> Pulmonic ingressive The words ya yes and nei nei are sometimes pronounced with inhaled breath pulmonic ingressive in Norwegian and this can be rather confusing for foreigners The same phenomenon occurs across the other Scandinavian languages and can also be found in German French Finnish and Japanese to name a few Topic <laughs> sample The sample text is a reading of the first sentence of The North Wind and the Sun by a 47-year-old professor from Oslo's Nordstrand district. Phonemic transcription Squared new nn, su lane squared clo mm, dm sm dn squared stikast Phonetic transcription Squared new n north, su lane, squared clo mm, dm south squared street ash cased Orthographic version Nordavinden og solen kranglet om hvem avenue dem som var den stærkeste Topic. See also Norwegian dialects Danish dialects Danish phonology Swedish phonology Notes <laughs>